Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric, and today we are going to make a modification to my Mortal Kombat Arcade 1-Up. Now looking at it, it's a fine, mighty fine cabinet. It's awesome, it's arcade accurate, looks fantastic. But today we are going to change the marquee. You see the marquees on the Arcade 1-Ups, they don't light up. They're just like a wooden artwork thing. So, so today we are going to put this light up marquee from the arcadegamefactory.com. I'll put a link in the description for you to grab one of these suckers. These are pretty legit. They have artwork that's similar to what's on there already, but they light up, you mount it in there, and apparently it's really easy to install. So today's update is going to be this. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and modify my arcade one up here. So I really like the cabinet and everything, but uh, you know, obviously they don't put light up marquees to cut costs down for uh, for these machines. You gotta remember these are still rather cheaply made. It's like Ikea furniture and they cut cost a lot. So yeah, now let's go ahead and see what else is in there. So we get the arcade marquee itself, pretty standard. It has like a, a black little like frame around it. And then we get the actual LED light strip which looks like this and you have some like ticky tack or some stuff and then this is the wire the wire actually plugs in to the actual power supply of the arcade one up and it has an on off switch so you don't have to worry about it being on all the time unless you want to have it on every single time that you play so they really don't give you any instructions in here but i've looked online there is a tutorial and stuff like that that other people have posted so hopefully I don't screw this up. Let's go ahead and begin. All right, so we're gonna move my console out because you need to reach the back in order to make the proper adjustments. Look at that side art, fantastic. So you need a screwdriver. They say that you have to unscrew the sides and then you have to kind of like pull the marquee out itself, but you won't have to undo the whole entire cabinet. Best expense I ever made at Walmart. Get yourself one of these. There's two different kits there. This one's a good one. All right, so we're going to use the screw bit, Phillips screwdriver. Kids, don't try this at home. And there's actually a huge modding community of people that put all sorts of different accessories and stuff on their cabinets. It's pretty neat. Oh, and then you also have to do the two screws that are inside in the back. So there's two screws that you actually screw the marquee on. So you have to undo this as well. But yeah, there's a big modding community. And by mod, it's not necessarily always software or you know putting ROMs or MAMES or Pandora's boxes. Sometimes people are adding stuff to the actual cabinets themselves, changing the artwork, things like that. So there's a couple of Facebook groups that I'm a part of that I actually have been having a really good time chatting with people. All right, so we're gonna pull this out a little bit. There's two screws. You're not able to see because I'm doing this, but there's two screws that are in here that you have to undo to remove this marquee. And they're just right at the top. All right, so we got it loosened up. You just pull it off and it should come right out. You just kinda gotta squeeze it out. So here's the old marquee. I guess I could use this as like a, a decoration or something, or maybe even sell it. I have no idea. All right, guys, so we got the old marquee off. We are going to install the brand new one, but there's a couple other things that we have to do before that. Number one, we're going to take off this old base part and put it back on there so it can rest underneath the new one and light won't be coming down, okay? So take this off first. They really don't give you instructions to do that, but there is just screws pulling it and it's not, it's not too hard to take off. It just takes a couple seconds and it, it really helps the install. So don't forget to take this off. And now you simply just slide the new one in the front. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just twist it, just twist it back so you guys can at least see what I'm doing. <laughs> so essentially what you do is you replace it and you fit it right there and you just kind of like screw it 
and it should should be a good replacement. So here we go. Oh, before you do anything, make sure you remove this because it has to be see-through. <laughs> so this this actually has to be removed. All right, so now that we have the base added onto the back, we're going to add the strip, the LED strip. Now this baby goes on top of the old panel. So you can pop it out or you could just go ahead and plop it in there as is. I think I'm just gonna plop it in there as is. And it's up to you to kind of gauge where you wanna put it so it lights up properly. I think that looks like it's good enough right there to be quite honest. Maybe, maybe about like, like right there just so it's kind of centered. So here we go, about right there. Should be good, so just tack that sucker on. Once it's on, it's on, guys. <laughs> Once it's on, it's on. So put this down there. This splitter goes into the power cable and it'll allow you to turn your light on. So let's go ahead and, and test the light. Maybe I should have did that before plug gluing it in, but. Oh. All right, so we're in the actual system. I plugged the power cable. I wanna put it right here into that, and there you go. Looks like it's all pretty well in order and then you just plug that splitter into there very easy to set up it's exactly it right there all right guys so we got the LED on everything set up we have the marquee the base attached now one problem that a lot of people don't realize is that you need to use the screws that come with it because these are sharp and they screw in easier so do not use the stock ones do not use the stock RK 1UP screws again. Now, a couple quick things to note that some people have complained about it is that you can see the screws. If you look very closely, you can kind of see the screws where they come out. A lot of people say that's a deal breaker. And then you can see this white line. That's because there's a, the plexiglass is clear. A lot of people, what they do is they take a, a permanent marker and they go in the inside or they go along right here and they kind of just draw over that and this line will disappear. To me, it doesn't bug me too much. Uh, I don't know, some people are real OD, OCD about stuff, but I think overall it does look really nice. All right guys, so it's fully installed. I'm actually very satisfied with this. It was easier than I thought it would be. It looked very intimidating seeing the wires and everything, but it's simple as unscrewing these, take the old marquee out, put the base of the old marquee on the new one, screw back in, Put the splitter into the power cord and voila it's not too bad i think it's well worth the price i've seen some people on the arcade one up group that i am on very upset about it that you know that the again that the, the light comes on the sides and stuff but to me it doesn't bug me very much i might do the permanent marker underneath this part just to make the light not come through and stuff but overall very happy with it let me let me turn the lights off so you can get a better look at it just so you guys can see I think I hung it up in a good spot, the LED light. You know, right there, I think that looks actually pretty good considering it's just a simple mod. Again, if you want to buy one, I'll go ahead and throw a link down below. These do sell out. I had to get, I had to wait for a second run of these because they were sold out. So act fast. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. As always, stay tuned for more RK What Up videos. I'll see you soon. I will be appearing at Game On Expo August 9th to the 11th. Looking forward to it. This is my fourth Game On Expo. Holy cow. Already been there several times. Each time I go, more and more, I enjoy it. It becomes much more epic. I mean, this year alone, we're going to have Charles Marnay, who voices Mario. We're going to have the voice actor for Bowser, the voice actor for Peach. We're going to have the voice actor for Ash Ketchum and the voice actor for Bulbasaur and other Pokemon. So there's a lot of voice actors. It's not just a YouTube convention, but some of your favorite YouTubers, including myself and Shady J from the Shady J Show, will be in attendance. But also John Hancock, Boogie2988, Kinsey, Metal Jesus Rocks, John Riggs, and plenty more that have yet to be announced will be at this convention. It's an awesome three-day convention. There's so much to do here. They have 
lots of tournaments, lots of panels, lots of after party activities, things like this. You know, the desert's already hot, but when Game On Expo comes to Phoenix, it is super hot. So this is at the Phoenix Convention Center, right in the heart of downtown. There's a lot of different bars, pubs, restaurants, and everything they do. I always have a great time. And again, I will be out there with some merch and you know taking pictures kissing babies things like that so yeah first game on expo and then we have southeast game exchange coming up so that's my two august conventions which i'm definitely looking forward to being a part of consider supporting 8-bit eric on patreon for just a dollar a month link below in the description you want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now.